Good morning, children. Welcome to online class, Ninth Standard First Language English. Today we are going to learn the poem. That is six, sixth poem, the bold peddler under Robin Hood. The bold peddler under Robin Hood. The author is Francis J. Child. Francis J. Child. True popular ballads are the spontaneous products of nature. So that is ballads that he has written. These are all from folk songs. Then uh, that, uh, those songs were sung in those days. And uh, Francis James Child, February, that is first. 1825, September, that is 11, his lifetime. And uh, he was uh, an American scholar, educator, and folklorist. Best known today for his collection of folk songs known as Child Ballads. Child was a, child was a Boyston professor of a rhetoric and oratory at Harvard University, where he produced influential editions of English poetry. In 1876, he was named Harvard's first professor of English, a position which allowed him to focus on academic research. It was during this time that he began working on the child ballads. The Child Ballads are published in five volumes between 1882 to 1898. They are a major contribution. They are a major contribution to the study of English language folk music. Okay, so this is his photo, and this is the book, volume three. So how many volumes he has written? He has written then volumes of a child ballad that is here. Yeah. This is a, in five volumes, this is volume three. Okay, coming to the poem. The Bold Peddler and Robin Hood. You might have heard about Robin Hood. Robin Hood, uh, He is in between, he cannot tell him a good man or a bad man or then, but he steals, robs from others, from the rich people and uh, helps the poor people. Bold peddler, peddler means one who carries the things that is a, uh, and uh, from place to place, uh, doing sales in most of the areas, that is, is called a peddler. So that is, he is having a pack. You can see in his photo that is carrying us, that is some things for sale. So you can you see this is the bag he carries. So he is called a peddler. That is traveling from place to place. Then what? For what? To sell small things, very small things. But uh, valuable things. Okay. Now, there chance to be a peddler bold. A peddler bold. There chance to be. He put his pack all on his back and uh, so merrily trudged over the lee. So, the here meanings there chance to be a peddler bold. A peddler bold, there chance to be. That means there was a peddler. Peddler, I told you, a person who goes from place to place selling small items. And he put his pack, that is his bag, all on his back and walked slowly and merrily, then happily over an open area of a grassy land. Can you see this? Next, uh, fifth line. 
by chance uh, he met two troublesome men two troublesome men they chanced to be the one of them was bold robin hood and the other was little john so free so on the road uh, he met uh, two troublesome men that is one was bold robin hood and the other one was a little john the one of them so the how he was so free they were very free now coming to the next line oh peddler peddler what is in thy pack come speedily and tell to me i have several suits of the gay green silk and silken boardings by two or three so what happened he is having silken bow strings by two or three so what is been a oh peddler peddler what is in the pack come speedily and tell to me i have got several sorts of gray gay green silk and silken bow strings by two or three so what is telling peddler is a so this little, little john asked the peddler what he had in his pack for that peddler is replying that he had a several sorts of bright green silk and two or three silken bow strings then what is telling little john if you have several sorts of the gay green silk and silken bow strings two or three then by my body cries little john then one half of your pack shall belong to me so what little john is telling if uh, you have that is a um, little john is shouting in where in your pack that is one half of the pack water it will belong to me only and uh, one of that is a uh, he is demanding from peddler that is to give half of uh, his uh, the things what he is having in his pack then what for that uh, peddler replied oh nay oh nay said the peddler bold oh nay oh nay that can never be for there is never a man from fair nottingham can ask one half my pack from me so what is telling peddler replied boldly he claimed that nobody could ask for a that is this thing sharing that half of his pack and uh, even never a man from nottingham this is place then can share his uh, things and uh, what is telling can ask me one half my pack from me then the peddler pulled off his pack and put it uh, a little below his knee put it below his knee and uh, saying if you do move me one perch from this my pack and all shall gang with thee so what is telling he added peddler if you could defeat him if you could defeat that anybody in a duel in the fight and they could take the enter lot of the pack what he had if they were able to move from that place if they were able to move him from that place what is telling him? they can take the whole lot of his things this is his pack and what he did he pulled off his that is put it a little below his uh, knee he pulled off his pack and uh, put it a little below his knee saying if you do move me one perch from this my pack and uh, all shall gang with this so everything if you can move me from this place then everything will belong to you only then little john he drew his sword the peddler by his pack did stand they fought until they both did sweat till he cried peddler pray hold your hand so what happened the peddler pulled off his pack and put it below his knee and then stood against it little john drew his sword and fought with the peddler and they fought how then that's what the next line tells him then little john drew his sword the peddler by his pack did stand then fought until they both did sweat till they started sweating no they started they were fighting with it <laughs> then he cried who cried 
Then little John cried, Oh peddler, spare me. He prayed peddler to stop fighting because peddler was overpowering little John. So peddler was a overpowering little John. So why, what happened? So because of that, what happened? He was not able to fight with the peddler. So little John asked him to stop fighting. Then Robin Hood, who was standing by, and he did uh, love most heartily, <clears throat> saying, I could find a man of a smaller scale who would thrash the peddler and also thee. So what he says, uh, now next Robin Hood, he gets ready, who was standing by, then he laughed at her most heartily. That is a challenge, peddler, and also little John, saying, he could defeat uh, both the peddler and uh, him, himself. And him, little John encouraged Robin Hood to fight with the peddler because he did not give them one half of his pack. Then I could find a man of smaller scale who would thrash the peddler and also the. So he is telling little John is telling that he can defeat uh, both of them. Go, you try, master, says little John. Now little John immediately tells her, go and try. That is a fight with the woman, with the peddler. Go, you try, master, says little John. Go, you try, master, most speedily. Then for my body, says little John, I'm sure this night you will know me. So what is wrong? Is because uh, of the fight with the peddler, then he is uh, feeling that he will have that is body pain. And uh, I'm sure this might you will know me. Then Robin Hood, he drew his sword. And the peddler by his pack did stand. They fought till the blood in streams did flow. Till he cried, peddler, pray, hold your hand. Now, Robin Hood starts fighting, drawing. So that is, a, he drew his sword. That is, he starts fighting with the peddler, drawing his sword. Oh, till the blood flowed from both of them in streams. Then Robin Hood could not uh, defeat the peddler, so he too requested him to stop fighting. Oh, peddler also asking, then Robin Hood, sorry, sorry, Robin Hood is asking peddler to stop fighting because he is not able to fight with whom? With the peddler. And the peddler remained calm and composed throughout the poem, and he did not uh, get scared seeing Robin Hood and the little John. Even the little John and the Robin Hood, instead of getting upset when they were defeated, they admired a peddler for his power and prowess. Robin Hood did not exhibit a pretty envy towards the better fighter because a peddler was a good fighter and Robin Hood accepted his power, then he was keeping quiet. Now, Oh, peddler, peddler, what is thy name? Come speedily and tell to me. Come my name, I never will tell. So he started asking the name of her, that a peddler who fought with them. Till both your names you have told to me, the one of us is a bold Robin Hood and the other is a little John so free. So what then uh, Robin Hood is asking a peddler to tell his name. Then because, and he revealed that is he told them, his name under the little Johnson name. And uh, now says the peddler, it lays to my goodwill. Now he opens his mouth and talks, eh? whether my name I choose to tell to thee, whether I have to select my name to tell you. What is my name? I am Gamble Gold of the Gay Green Woods. So he is revealing his identity, telling his name, I am Gamble Gold of the great green woods. And I traveled far beyond the sea. So what happened? He's traveled far beyond the so many seas, a lot of distances traveled. And for killing a man in my father's land and from my country was forced to flee. So what happened? What he did? He did a mistake by killing a man from his father's <clears throat> land. So that's why what they done. Now I had then thrown out of the city. Now I am going, <laughs> then are going around. That is to meet the people and to sell their goods. So.
So what is his name? His name is a Gamble Gold. So beyond the sea, and your my mother, then one sister's son. Then what he tell her? <laughs> you are my. That is Robin is telling that you are my mother's sister's son. So that's our children. The, the peddler had told his name, the Gamble Gold of a Gay Greenwood son. Again, he was forced to flee because he had killed a man who had ventured into his father's land. That is in his father's place. Then what he did? He then killed a man. And Robin identifies him as his mother's sister's son. Now Robin only came to know the relationship between who that is a peddler and himself. And hence they were cousins. So because mother's, mother's sister's son means they become what? Cousins only, so they became their mother and uh, mother's uh, that is uh, sister, and uh, their uh, association uh, that uh, they had begun in a fight and uh, hostility. So then the association, what happened? So they became friends. So immediately what uh, they joined together to have lunch. That is uh, hostility ends in peace and merriment. So that is. What is telling me? That is, others a little son so free. Now says the peddler, it, lay, it lays to my goodwill whether my name I choose to tell to thee. I am Gamble Gold of the Gay Green Woods. So what, who am I? I am the Gamble Green of... <coughs> so, Gamble Gold of a Green Woods. But I have travelled a long distance and travelled far beyond the sea also. And uh, why? Because he killed his father's, uh, that is, he killed a man from his father's uh, land. In his father's land only, he killed a man in his country. So what happened? He was uh, forced to run away from his uh, native. And then if you are gamble gold of the gay green woods and uh, traveled far beyond the sea, you are my mother's own sister's son, then with what uh, nearer than cousins can we be? So we are all nearer cousins. So because of this only, then we are very uh, famous because uh, they easily, he, he also famous in the name of uh, then uh, go Gamble Golden. Then he is also famous in the name of Robin Hood. Then uh, next one is, uh, they go to Tavern, that is what Tavern. You are my mother was own sister's son. What a nearer cousin can we be? So they sheathed their sword. Now fighting is over because they became friends. Then uh, sheathed, that is put the weapon. That is a weapon they are using to fight. So what is that? They kept it. Then in the uh, uh, then they sheathed their sword in the in the, in the sheath one case. With the friendly words, uh, they started uh, talking and uh, laughing with each other so merrily. They did agree. They went to a tavern. Tavern that is also what? Uh, then <laughs> they went to a tavern. So that is a place uh, where they can have a food. A tavern that is cracked. There they dined, cracked bottles most merrily. So what they did? They had a nice dinner in the place. With the drinks. So, this is the poem meaning of the poem that is uh, the bold peddler and the Robin Hood. So, really, the title itself tells us the ped peddler was very bold and the Robin Hood. So, in that fight, we come to know. So, these are the pictures. Let me see how they are sitting. Okay, children. I believe you have understood this poem. Okay. I take leave.